this past week or two, I've been getting a lot of emails from people, uh, inboxes from total strangers, really. Uh, and people kind of just pour their heart out and tell me their whole life story, you know. And I realize that people are really going through it right now. And I don't know if there's a shift in the universe or uh, something is going on. But, you know, I realize that at a very early age, we've been taught how to fight. I mean, you know, you got somebody trying to bully you at school and they telling you, okay, three o'clock, I'm going to beat you up, you know, and you always fighting. We don't, if we didn't learn nothing else growing up, we learn how to fight. But then you grow up and you got to learn how to adult in a civilized manner. You know what I'm saying? And you realize that fighting somebody, punching them, it really don't work now. You know what I'm saying? And so people's kids is acting up. Uh, they in unhealthy relationships. Their spouses are sick, you know. And I thought I would make a video to suggest to you what works for me. Um, it's called angel writing. And what you do is you write a letter to a person's angel. Now, you can't write a letter to somebody's angel and say, you know, please make them want me. You can't do that now. People got free will, and they, if they don't want you, they don't want you, okay? That's another, that's another video. But um, if your kids is acting up, or if your spouse is sick, or, you know, somebody is on your back, the way that you fight that thing is not with your knuckles. You got to fight it in the spirit realm. Now, this does not matter what your religion is. There's angels in the Bible. Look it up. But God has given us help. And who do you think his help is? It's the angels. He has given his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. So what you do is you pull out a sheet of paper, you, you, you date it, and you write at the top of it, to the angels of, and you write the person's name. And then you write down all the things that you want the angels to help this person with. I'm gonna give you an example. My son, he's 20 years old now, but when he was in high school, he just didn't have no drive. He didn't wanna work. He didn't know what he wanted to do. I'm like, son, what do you wanna be when you grow up? I don't know. You know, I don't know. Hey, dang, mom killed you. And I'm like, boy, now look here. Now, what you're not gonna do is be sorry, because I ain't raised you to be sorry. So I thought, you know what? I don't know what he, what his plan is. And he didn't seem like he had one. So I thought, you know, let me write a letter to his angels. So I wrote a letter to my son's angels. I wrote at the top of it to the angels of Cortland. And I wrote, would you please help him to be independent, help him to be self-sufficient, help him to, to be a, a strong man of God and help him give him a, a good work ethic and, you know, things that will help him. I didn't say make him do what I say, you know, because you got to give your kids freedom to choose and be who they are, you know. So you can only write a letter to an angel to help them whatever's in their highest and best. So um, to help him to be more responsible, to help help him to be more uh, goal-driven and woo de woo So I wrote that, I signed it, and I dated it. And I just thought about it like yesterday, talking to somebody that everything that I wrote down in my letter to my son's angels, he became that. My son has a condo. He got a brand new car. He got a job. He made more money than I did one year. And I thought, well, my God. This boy done turned out all right. You know what I'm saying? I did it for my other son. He had anger, man, and anger issues, just mad. You know, he'd go off, and, and he's like, Mom, I just get so angry. So I wrote a letter to his angels, to the angels of Corian. Please give him a calm spirit. Um, you know, wrap your arms around him. Let him feel love. Give him peace. Help him to, um, you know, help him with his learning and, and his reading and whatnot. And he had done 100%. He had no problems out of that boy. So... I'm saying all this to say is that you can't fight this real life in the natural. You got to fight it in the spirit realm. So you got to, it's kind of like going behind the stage. You know, when you go to a theatrical play and, and uh, they close the curtain and they back there shifting and moving and sh sh moving and stuff and getting in place, getting in position. There's somebody back there helping them to get in position. So when they open that curtain, all you see is this beautiful theatrical play. The choreography is all good, and the outfits is perfect. The bow ties is in place. The shirts is buttoned up. Somebody had to help them behind the scenes, and those are your angels. So if you got a spouse that might be acting 
a way that, you know, ain't really healthy or might have a drug problem or something like that, you got to write a letter to the angels because when you write, you are going, you surpass all fear, you surpass uh, worry and doubt and all those lower vibrational thoughts. And you go, you go, you speak in the language of the angels. Angels don't understand fear. They don't understand anger and anxiety and worry. They don't know nothing about none of that. So when you talk to them like, oh my God, I just can't, and why won't you do this? And they like, okay, what are you saying? I don't get it. You got to talk to angels on their vibrational level. They way up here. So you got to talk to them in faith and love and happiness and joy and peace. All those things that make you feel good. So you got to you gotta speak their language for them to understand. It's like, oh, okay, I get it. So you want me to go help them to, to be a better person? Oh, okay, I can do that. Oh, you want me to help them to be more on time or be more organized? Oh, yeah, I can help. I can do that. You want me to help them get more joy? Oh, I can do that. But you all, man, can you just make them just, I just can't. They like, what? You What? So you surpass fear and you go straight to the source. You go straight to the help. So if you got somebody in your life that's going through and it's, it's, it's worrying on you and you don't know what, you, what, what else you can do and, and you feel like you didn't, you didn't done all you can, you've been praying and ceasing and, and, and you didn't ran all through the church and spoke in tongues and fell out and ain't none of that worked, try writing a letter to the angels and I can only tell you it has worked for me and for people that I have told to do this, I have done it for them. You can, it's a way that you can uh, intercede for a person and stay in the spirit realm and speak the language of the angels and it goes right to it. It goes right to it, right to that problem. And I promise you, you will see a difference. And I want y'all to try it and inbox me and let me know uh, what your results are because I would love to hear your stories. Uh, anyway, happy Valentine's Day. I wrote a book. The Power of 22, you can find it on Amazon. I talk about the same things, angels, signs and wonders, how to know the angels are talking to you, finding butterflies and uh, no, seeing butterflies and, and uh, uh, ladybugs and uh, stuff like that. And so you know that the angels are speaking to you and teaching you how to be more aware and how to be present in your surroundings. And, and I believe it'll help you. But um, happy Valentine's Day. I love everybody. And uh, y'all enjoy your day.